Okay, so I'm going to start by talking about the role of social media in brand growth. Social media has revolutionized the way that brands engage with their audience. Social media offers you a platform for you to connect, for you to engage, for you to showcase your products and to communicate with the audience that you're looking for. So the first thing I'm going to ask you is to write down or to tell yourself, why did I start my business? What is your why? Your why determines everything else that you're going to do in the future. Your why determines your content. Your why determines your target audience. Your why determines who you speak to, the voice, the tone, the language. Your why is, is literally the foundation to which anyone does anything. And I'm sure you can all agree with me. With that and with the right strategies, social media can be a very powerful tool for growing your brand. So the first case study I'm going to present is on TT Dog. TT Dog is a leather store based in Lagos, Abuja, and Dubai. What can we learn from TT Dog? The first thing we can learn from them is visual content. TT Dog has showcased their unique designs in a clear, concise, and concise and visually aesthetic manner. They have done this on Instagram, on TikTok, and on Facebook. So those are the three platforms that they have been able to leverage to grow their brand from when they started to now. The second thing that they did is they, they banked on collaborations. They collaborated with influential African fashion bloggers and celebrities to promote their brand and expand their reach. The third thing that's very important in TT Doc's strategy is storytelling. TT Dog has been able to leverage the power of storytelling in everything that they do. So they come up with these very amazing campaigns to launch new collections and then in turn mix it in with the visual content. So it's very key. And then the last thing that I noticed on their page is engagement. They engage with their audience through interactive social media campaigns, conversion based advertising and user generated content. So these four strategies are very key in what TT Doc is using. By them implementing these strategies, what did we see, what can we find with their brand? The first thing is we can see an increase in brand visibility, particularly within the African fashion community. The second thing that we can see is that they've amplified their brand reputation. TT Doc, if does anybody here know TT Doc? They started in Lagos and they've been able to use this to amplify their brand and place it on a global stage. If you want me to go back, I will just do that. But you, it was visual, visual aesthetics, collaboration, engagement. And it is very important to ensure that if you remember, does anybody remember what I said at the beginning? What's the first thing you have to have? Your why. Your why ties into your visuals, ties into your storytelling, ties into how you communicate and engage with your audience. Sorry, I'm trying to still. So I'm still back on their results. So now we now understand that it's amplified their brand reputation. But what is most important is the final result, which is that it has enhanced customer engagement and loyalty because they have a very strong brand narrative. Perfect. Next, I'm going to take you to another brand called Kua Designs. Anybody here know Kua Designs? They're based in Ghana. So what can we learn from Core Designs? Core Designs first had their why, and their why was African print-infused designs. Core Designs utilized Instagram as their primary platform to showcase their unique African print-infused accessories. This was key in every single thing they were doing, every post, every caption, in their messaging, it was very important that they, they explained to the audience that their bags were African print infused. Then we, apologies for that. Then we go into their second strategy, which was cultural collaborations. The brand collaborated with local Ghanaian influencers and fashion enthusiasts to showcase their products and promote brand, their brand's cultural heritage. So if you take a look at their page in your free time, you see that any celebrity that passed through Ghana, she was always front and center to show, to give them a bag, to show them the bag. So you see loads of videos of her kind of culturally connecting her bag to the pop culture or to just even Ghanaian um, news and things that are happening. The third thing that is very key in her strategy was hashtags. So QR designs, I wouldn't say it would be the same as TT Dog, 
but core designs really leveraged on the power of hashtags. I know some of us are here thinking hashtags don't work, but but sometimes they can be used to help to amplify if you're using it the right way. One strategy that she was able to implement was she used a specific niche. She kept on, she would use things like Kente inspired designs, Kente designs. So by her ensuring that the hashtag she was using was very specific to what she wanted to amplify it to, it kind of helped her in amplify, in growing her brand on social media. And let's not forget, like I said, Instagram was her primary platform. So she poured most of her energy on Instagram before she moved on to other platforms now. With the hashtags, she was able to expand on her discoverability and she was even able to then grow her page and her followers. Now, with that, with that strategy, what did that do? Her results, they gave her a rapid growth on social media, especially on Instagram, like we said. It increased her brand recognition and her vis visibility among local and international brands. And it positioned her in Ghana as the leading, blending traditional African textile with modern fashion trends. Now, if you see, I know that sentence is a bit long, but I'm sure you can see why. It positioned her to her why, right? There's other bag companies, there's other fashion brands, but by her positioning herself to something very specific, she positioned herself as the leading person in that niche. Are we all, are, we, are you guys all with me? All right. Okay. The next case study I have for you is Taibo Bakar. Taibo Bakar is from Mozambique, and I'm sure they're very they're one of the larger brands here in Africa. But one thing that you need to know about their strategy is how they utilized Instagram and Facebook to showcase their elegance and contemporary designs that also incorporated traditional elements. But one thing they did is they also did the same thing that these brands were doing. But what they I would like to say that they were one of the first, you know, culturally significant African brands to start. But they collaborated with influencers, bloggers, local celebrities as well, and created buzz. But one thing that is very key for them is that they leveraged social media advertising strategies like Shopify. They, they leveraged everything that most brands would leverage on, but then they just took it up a notch and then became this. And then another thing that I noticed with them that I really like is they took their engagements with their audience even a bit further. They would engage them by responding to comments. They, you know, they do Q and A sessions, and their campaigns were very interactive. So with them, the customer is in mind for how they approach social media. They choose to want to speak to the customer, to the person who's buying the product, to the fashion lover, to the fashion lover. And that in turn has helped them stand out in, on the international level. So with them, what you can see is for them, they position themselves as the leading fashion brand representing Mozambique. And that is what then, if you notice, if you see Taibo Baka everywhere, it's all from Mozambique. They're positioned as the leading fashion brand in Mozambique. And they increase brand visibility, both local and internationally, and substantial growth in social media following and engagement. So what can you take away from all these case studies? The first thing is, depending on what your why is, I don't know, I'm guessing we're all here because we're all trying to start local, obviously, and glow, you know, blow international. But obviously, if you have any type of African culture, celebrate and promote your why. If it's your why could be African culture, your why could be like him, for example, who allows you to make the footwear while you're in an event and take it home with you. So his why could be you're taking a piece of you anywhere you go. After, you know, Find your why. What is the thing that makes you stand out? What is the thing you want to be known for? What is the thing that you would like to set yourself apart? This is what you will use to tell your brand's story. This is what you're going to use in your captions. This is what you're going to use. This is what you're going to use in your captions. This is what you're going to use when you are creating your campaigns. It, it will even, you won't see that when you have your why, it will help you even design pieces or design collections that tie into your story. Do you, does anybody, do you guys understand what I mean? Your why helps you in everything. So start there. Number two, if and when you can, Influencer collaborations are really good in the fashion industry. So if you can collaborate with influencers or even local fashion enthusiasts, which can be your friends, your family, anyone you know that just, again, likes your why, to amplify your social media reach and connect with your target audience. The next thing is social media showcasing. 
of course, we wouldn't be here if it's not about social media. Social media thrives on visually appealing content. In all things, try and upgrade, up-level, elevate your content. Tell your, stor your story through great videos, great images, great graphics, and use the platforms that fit your brand. Instagram, TikTok, I wouldn't say, I'm not, I wouldn't say Twitter, but where, if your why ties with you connecting to your audience, Twitter can be for you. The next thing, engagement is key. Engage with your audience, with your images, engage with them through your customer features, engage with them on social media, always respond to your DMs, your comments, ensure that you have a storytelling as to how you're going to talk to your customers. The next thing is target specific demographics. Uh, uh, yes, target specific demographics. So utilize social media advertising to target specific demographics and expand your brand's visibility. So just to expand on that, the first thing you need to ask yourself is who is your target audience, right? Your target audience starts with your, again, your why. So if, for example, you make leather bags, you have to ask yourself something like, what is the price of my leather bag? Now, based on that price, who within the age range can afford that price? So if it's 150K, can a 16-year-old girl afford it? No. So you see, your target audience is determined by your price, your location. Do you deliver everywhere? If you only deliver in, if you're only in Port Harcourt, your target audience is in Port Harcourt. Does that make sense? So you have to determine your target audience. Okay. My eyes. All right. So engage and interact with your audience. Social media is a two-way communication channel. So you always have to ensure that you're actively engaging with your audience by responding to comments, direct messages, mentions, and initiate conversations. So engaging with your audience is very key. Another takeaway that we can get from this is, of course, we spoke about influencer collaborations and partnerships. Sometimes it doesn't even always have to be influencer collaborations sometimes it can be strategic partnerships with stylists with fashion this it went down with style <laughs> with stylists with fashion enthusiasts it can be with digital media placements you can always ensure that you're collaborating with people and then the last thing i believe is data-driven decision making Always ensure you are looking at your social media analytics to know what is working and what is not working. What posts are doing great for you? What posts are not doing well for you? What people, how many people, how many male, female, age range, so that you can use that to twitch and to fix your content as you go along. And last but not least, stay ahead with trending features and platforms. Always stay abreast of things that are working, social media platforms that are new, Instagram updates. Instagram updates itself every like five days. So always ensure that you're up to date on things and how they're working as it's very key for you. And there you go. Thank you for attending my session. I don't know if anyone has any questions. It's, um, it's been crazy. Does anyone have any questions? Thank you so much.